Yo guys, welcome back to Brandy PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a really awesome deck. That's gonna be the new War Beetle. War Beetle has an awesome attack with Evo Mancy. For each energy on this Pokemon, search your deck for your stage two, except for War Beetle, and put on your bench. This means if you have just an energy and then a triple on it, you can actually get four stage twos and put them onto your bench, which is really strong, really powerful. Obviously, skipping rare candy is very nice. Now, there are probably a ton of ways to play it. Now, the way that I'm going to be playing it today is going to be with Dragapult here. I'll get into that. I'll get into the idea of this archetype in a minute, but this is a very cool card. Now, if you guys have any other ideas for how to make Orbeetle work, let me know. There's probably a ton of combos. And if you guys have any combo recommendations, comment them down below and I will consider making a video on that um, idea because I actually think this deck is really cool and really uh, interesting. So if you guys have any other Orbital ideas, comment them down below. But yes, we are going to pair it today with Dragapult. So don't forget the video guys, Crusher 2, the sponsor Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pan codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest if you guys are looking to get any pack codes whether it be battle styles code still or shining fates codes vivid voltage codes dark Place codes rebel clash codes get them over there if you're looking for a specific promo v or gx code you can also get them over at card cabin um and if you do get any codes over at card cabin of course guys at the checkout you can use my discount code code lvf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin so Shout out to them. Use Core LDF. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I'm posting there now, um, instead of written up articles that you can read, they're actually just video deck profiles of me breaking down and explaining the deck and all that stuff. So if you're interested, check that out. Let's look at the list. Now, the reason I went with Dragapult is because there is a problem with this War Beetle. And in standard format, there is a very problematic card in a lot of decks. So if in a war in a perfect world, you go Evo Mancy, you put four stage shoes in play because you'll go uh, psychic energy, triple energy. You put four stage shoes in play. All's good and dandy, right? Then your opponent goes, boss's order, knocks out one of the stage twos, considering it could be the strongest link of the stage two. For example, if you put like a Hydreigon in play, your opponent just goes, boss Hydreigon, knock it out. You know, boss's order kind of gatekeeps Evo Mancy a little bit. That's like my only issue with this card, is it's awesome, I love it. Unfortunately, boss's order kind of kind of hurts because if you put a stage two in play, your opponent can just boss knock it out. It's like, why did I even bother, you know? Now, the reason I actually am using Dragapult is for many reasons. One, because it's Infiltrator ability. We can put four of these in play right away and basically force the opponent to have to go through four Infiltrator abilities. This can also be good if our opponent tries to just go with a boss, right? If they boss a Dragapult around the Orbital, Dragapult flips heads on the ability, rip the opponent, right? So you kind of see why I like the Dragapult in the deck over uh, the stage two. This is why I'm going to be trying out this archetype first before any others and again if you guys have any other ideas comment them down below because i'm definitely going to try out more orbital decks in the future um but yeah i'm going to try out this dragapult build today we put four dragapults in play they have infiltrator we are also a psychic attacker urshifus are very popular right now so we have the advantage of being a psychic pokemon um some other combos i'm trying out i'm trying to out exp share in this deck with basic psychic basically like dragapult's main concern is it does need two energy so if like you attach energy you take a hit with infiltrator you flip heads and you can attach another energy and attack um, you get knocked out and then you're stuck without attacking. So I'm gonna try out uh, EXP share in this deck. I'm only playing one. I wish I could play two, but I'm, I'm just gonna play one, allowing you to um, put on Dragapult here up on one of the bench. So when one gets knocked out, you can move the energy to another one. So that's kind of the idea there. I could definitely see two of these going in the deck. I don't know what I would cut though. Um, one other issue with Orbeetle is it is a stage two itself. So you actually have to get the stage two into play, but it is worth it because you're getting four free stage twos in play, essentially, if you can combo the triple energy quick enough. And that is still helpful. You know, you're skipping like a bunch of rare candies, so it's still fine. Um, so we are going to be playing three candies to get our own Orbeetle in play. Snorlax for the setup. The Mew to protect our bench. That's pretty much it. A uh, bunch of items, trainers. I'm playing some nets to make room on our bench. Of course, we want to put four Dragapults in play. And we happen to not have room for all four. We need to have a scoop up net. Playing a bunch of supporters. Um, I am playing peers. Now, the reason I'm playing peers, just because it grabs you triple energy. It's literally a way to get a free triple energy, which I think is very important in this deck because you need energy. You need triple energy. This deck pretty much needs a triple energy to make it work. Without the triple energy, you're kind of slow. If you bank on your opponent dead drawn, you can maybe go like, you know, psychic, psychic, or beetle. And then the next turn, you go again. But we're play Pierce to guarantee the triple energy. Got Bruno on the deck for draw. Marnie, research. Two Rosa because you can get the Orb Beetle in play. We got three triples, four horror energy, and four basic psychic. And then two rods. Calm is really important here too to be able to put the Dragapult back into the deck. Um, so you can search it out. But yeah, let's go try this deck out. And see if Orb Beetle can get us some dubs. 
right, here we go. Let's try out this Orbeetle Dragapult deck and see how it does. See if Orbeetle is actually going to work for us. I'm interested to see how it plays. I'm excited to play it because I loved making those videos on those Cradilly decks back when I made them. They were a lot of fun to play. And Orbeetle is just a better Cradilly. Um, and okay, got the Snorlax. Uh, ooh, we're up against a Welder deck here. And they got the Bling too. It's going to be a Battle of the Bling. But I got the Shiny Dragapult. All right, we'll see how we do. We'll open with Snorlax. Bench the Blip Bug. And we are going first, which is fine. Okay. All right, this is fine. We do have the ability. We got the Rare Candy here. We have a Net too. Hmm. I kind of hate to waste this EXP share, but I do want to draw some cards. So we're going to Gourmandize. I do want to draw some cards here, so. Ooh, we didn't get the Ore Beetle off of that. Not good. Yeah, no Ore Beetle off of that Gourmandize is not ideal. I definitely wanted to get an Ore Beetle there. Um, so we can go turn one Ore Beetle. We're up against Victini VMAX, it looks like. Which is something we might be able to beat. We'll have to see. Okay, um, Blip Bug's gonna get knocked out, right? They definitely have a boss in their hand. They always have the boss in their hand here. It's just always there. There's a Quick Ball. Okay, that can get us another Blip Bug. We'll have to get that. All right, do we have all the Ore Beetles? We do. We have all the Dragapults. I guess we could prize a Dragapult. Um, it is what it is. Um, and Gourmandize. I was honestly gonna research, but I think Gourmandize is fine. All right, we got Dotler. We didn't get a uh, triple energy, though, or an Ore Beetle. That's fine, though. We got the Rosa, though. If Snorlax even does get knocked out this turn, which it's unlikely it does. And as soon as they take a knockout with Volcanium, we're just going to Rosa here. Or the Ore Beetle, and we'll go from there. We will get the Ore Beetle online, and we will apply some pressure to my opponent. This is how it's going to go. Okay, they definitely, like, uh, I do feel like they're going to be knocking out one of my blip bugs here. We'll see if they have the boss. I mean, they definitely have it, right? It's just always there. The nice thing about Victini VMAX is it actually can't one-shot Dragapult because it only does 100 damage, don't forget. So there is some benefits. So let's see what they decide to do. They are taking a long time to make their move. But hopefully, I mean, hopefully they just hit my Snorlax for 110 damage and then I just go evolve into Dotler go from there. Okay, they're playing Mewtwo in their deck, which is actually good because it is weak to Psychic. So if we are ever able to get off a Dragapult, we do have that ability to hit Mewtwo for weakness. But they actually all for a T-Ran over the Mewtwo. I think, well, they know what I'm playing, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I, I, when I mulliganed, I think. I think I showed them. So they know what I'm playing, obviously. And now I got the juice. There's the Victini. Nothing can knock me out unless they go Heat Ran. We'll see if they go Heat Rain here. There's a Quick Ball. Gets rid of another Welder. Get dead, 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 NA. I wonder... Ooh, Stamp 2. That's annoying. But we still got the Rosa. And we got the Triple Energy. Um, Ooh, we have a Dragapult in our hand, though. We have Dreepy, though, so it's actually not that bad. If we can draw into a Pokecom or Rare Candy here, we can Rosa... Yep. They got the boss. As expected, they always get it. They never not whiff it. Um... This is fine, though. So if we can draw Calm, Rare Candy. Calm or Rare Candy would be the ideal top deck here. No, boss. That's fine. We'll bench Dreepy. We got the turn. We got it. We got the, we got the, uh, we got the play. We got the Ore Beetle. The question is, is are we going to be able to win this game? We'll see. Here we go. We could knock out the Volcanian. I'm just going to Evo Manti. Make sure we get triple a Dragapult. If we can draw into another rare candy here, we have another Dragapult. The only problem is there's no EXP share on any of these guys. So we aren't going to be able to attack right away. We're going to have to sit behind a Snorlax again. They are down three Welders, though, and they're bench locked. So currently they're kind of stuck with what they got. Yeah, they can just knock me out. And that is kind of annoying, but is what it is. All right, bring in this. Do we draw? We draw a Marnie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. We'll Marnie them. We'll go Marnie Gourmandize. See if we can find Ordinary Rod here. That'd be good. All right. Ask you shall receive. All right. Uh, we Rod. Honestly, I don't even care for the Orbital anymore. I kind of just want my energy back. In the deck, to be honest, I'm just going to put the energy back. I honestly don't care about the Orbitals. Um, Going to Gourmandize here. I'll see if they have a boss. 
They are bench locked, right? So if they have it, they have it, but they are bench locked currently. Bruh. Marnie, like, come on, man. Marnie, like, what are you doing? Why, why, why you gotta give my opponent everything every time? That's pretty freaking annoying. Now, well, to be fair, they still have to go through three of our Dragapults, which is not that big of a deal, actually, but... Like, one of those, like, come on, man moments, really? Um... We should just knock him out here and just Bruno. Actually, maybe we should have bossed the Heat Rain. I actually wouldn't mind that either, to be honest. There's Scoop Up. All right, we're going to net the Snorlax so it's no longer in play. And we're just going to take a KO with Phantom Force. Now we got to figure out where we want to put this damage. Uh, so Heat Rain, we put 30 damage on Heat Rain. It goes down to 160 HP. They hit me 20. They go down to 1. Hmm, the Heat Rain won't get knocked out. I think I just put the damage on, like, Dedenne or something, right? Just have Dedenne be KO'd. Now we gotta hope we get heads here. Well, that's assuming they could even go Heat Rain. They'd have to... This thing has a 2 tree. They have to switch or something. Here we go. This is where we need the Dragapult deck to work. We need Dragapult to get heads. Because if we get knocked out, we're gonna be stuck not being able to attack again. So we really need to get heads here. We'll see if we can win the game. Ooh, they do have Rushy Zard. They are down some welders, though, so they might not even have another welder. They have a giant heart. That's fine. We can actually play that with another deck. How many supports do we have left? Oh, we still have a ton of draw. Yeah, we still have a ton of draw left. Okay. Do they have a welder? They have one in the deck. All right, nice. Max victory. And we get to live the turn. All right, there we go. Huge turns when we needed. We needed to get the energy on. We have four energy in the deck. We have six draw supporters plus a Rosa. It's actually pretty good odds of not dead drawing for the rest of the game. We'll see how it goes. Best I can do. We could escape rope, maybe. Do we ever care to attack the Victini? It's so hard to knock out. It's got way too much HP. I actually think I will play the rope here. Yeah, we'll play the rope. I guess, like, oh, but they could go Reshizard, and then they can knock me out with Outrage. Hmm. Nah, this is fine. I don't know. The Victini's, like, it, uh, maybe we should just hit it. It's like, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's got too much HP. I don't know. We do need to find a supporter, though, ASAP. Oh, okay. They actually go the other Victini. All right, that changes everything. So it's Phantom Force for 120. We can actually hit the Reshizard for 30 here. Because we can actually set up perfect number. Well, we should hit the Victini now, or the D Dene, because we can knock it out. But we actually hit the Reshizard here. It's got 240 HP. Now we can just two-shot it with two Phantom Forces, if it ever comes down to that. They can go V-Bullet for nothing. Yeah, they're going to retreat. They are going to go to Heat Rain finally. This doesn't one-shot me unless they go Hot Burn. But if they do hit our heads on Hot Burn... If they get Tails, though, we are in top deck mode, so... Come on, game. Give me a supporter so we can win this. I might have to panic and go Snorlax. But that's another prize they'll get. No, dude. They got the knockout. Ugh. Okay, come on. We have a ton of draw outs here. Can we top deck out of this mess? We do. Nice. Let's we'll play the rod. We drew out of the bit. Now the question is, is are we going to whip an energy? We put one back, so we'll see. No, we're chilling. We're chilling. We Phantom Force. We have Boss in our hand. So we're kind of on a roll. We can hit that. Just put the rest on the other Victini, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know where to put that damage, but... If they attack me here and they get... If they attack me with Heat Ram with Steaming Stomp and they get heads... Or they, or they get tails and they don't knock me out and they take 20 damage... We just go Boss, knock out to Dene and Heat Ram. They could, uh, they could have a welder. Nope, steaming stomp. And all right, perfect. So it worked out in the end. We won the game. This was a bit of an uphill battle. Um, definitely was a bit of a close match. Oh, no, no, wait, no, it's not over yet. Never mind. I didn't realize we still have to take another prize. <laughs> Oops, no, that's fine. This Victini is looking pretty. Okay, I thought we were taking the game there. We weren't, my bad. It's all good though. It's all good. Get our prizes. We get Piers, Quick Ball. Another energy's good. Um, okay. They can... They actually can double blaze. They need to have a welder here in order to attack me. So let's see. Oh, they can outrage. Are you... They get tails again, bro? Why do you keep getting lucky? 
Oh my god, Dragapult, what are you doing, my guy? What are you doing? How much else I can really do? We just gotta... Play this, I guess. Another deck. We just gotta go for it. Yeah, I thought I was winning there, but I was wrong. But we, we just gotta go for the win. We just gotta go for it. We just gotta go for it, folks. Um, okay, here we go. Phantom Force. Hit the Victini for 30. We need to live the turn if we're gonna win this. If they get another Tails, guys, we are going to lose the game. And a very unfortunate loss. They have one Welder and they're down 10 of their Fire Energy. So there's a chance they don't have it. There's a chance they don't have the attack here. Come on, Dragapult. You got one job. There's a Poke Gear. Oh, they got their last Welder, but do they even have enough energy in their hand? They got a Giant Hearth. One energy. All right, that is not two. They have one in their hand? No, they're going to build a Victini. Okay, that's fine. There's a Quick Ball. The Dene. They can't. They literally just have to go for Outrage. And if they get heads, we win. If they get tails, we lose. Well, oh, they could have evolved the other Victini. They had four boss in the deck. Jesus. They had four boss. Ooh, they do evolve the Victini. All right. Outrage. Let's go. We won. All right. That's good. We just Phantom Force. Knock out the Reshizard. Ooh, that was a weird match. I, I thought I was winning there. I just assumed we had game when we, when we knock out two, two Pokemon GXs. I was like, all oh, right, we got game, but... We still won in the end. That was a bit of a close match. My opponent got very lucky with the coin flips there, but we did it. And we won thanks to Orbeetle Dragapult. And we got a Battle Styles pack to open up. Let's open it up. Let's open this bad boy up. See what we pull. See what we pull. What am I even looking for in this set? A lot of stuff. I still need to get that uh, alternate art Urshifu. Level Ball would be good too. So your level ball would be nice. Here we go. Yeah, I'm low on Battle Styles packs, as you guys can see. But here we go. Let's get this bad boy open. And can we get a good pull? I think the last thing I pulled was a single strike regular art. Got a Mind Chow and a Fero. Bit of a bra moment. All right, guys. Get into another match. Hopefully, we can win the coin flip. Nope. Never mind. We do not. All right. We definitely need to go first. But we are going to get to go first anyways. We'll see who we start with here. All right. Pretty good. So pretty good start. Pretty good start. We got the Snorlax. Got the Calm for the... Flip bug, we got a psychic core energy, whatever. And ooh, we're up against a metal deck though. I don't know if this is ADP. Those cards, yeah, I can't really tell if it's ADP or not. We'll see what it is. Oh, there's Orbeetle. Let's go Mew. Get Flip Bug. Yeah, we'll see if it's ADP. Alright, we got all the Dragon Pulls in the deck, which is good to know. Go here. Go here. Or Mandai's best thing we get is like Scuba Net and Piers. Got Rosa. Not really gonna help. We get the orbital in play right away, which is good. And then uh from there. We'll see if they have a Marnie. They do have a Marnie. Okay. I maybe mean, could have calmed the Orbital back into the deck instead of the Mew because I kind of saw the Marnie coming, but fine. No big deal. No big deal. No, it is a big deal. We got a pretty awkward hand. Well, we still Gourmet Nuts, I guess. Okay, is it it is an ADP deck. For some reason they're playing a metal goggles, though. Doesn't really make any sense. Oh, and they have hammers. No. No, they got the hammers too. Okay. Shepard Sword. All right, no energy. Best top deck would be a Marnie. That's not actually bad, actually. Hmm. We'll just bench it. We'll just go... I think I'm just going to go Gourmandai's. Yeah, I'm not going to attach any energy because I don't want to. Right? Yeah, we got Scoobnet. Yeah. I don't want to attach an energy because we need to save it for triple. Maybe I should. Yeah, I guess they do have hammer. We probably should attach energy. They got the crushing hammers. We need to hurry up though, because as soon as they get ADP in there, it's that big bad, big bad card itself. Yeah, as soon as they get ADP in play, we're in trouble. They might even get the alter creation off this turn, which is what I'm scared of. Yeah, they got the water. And they got a Marnie, which okay, that's fine. This hand was not that good outside of us probably Marning them right back. So hopefully they don't Marnie into the switch E switch here. That'd be really bad. Ooh, they might knock me out. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. We could... We could boss other stations. There's no point, right? Well... Eh, maybe there's a point. Nice, they hit another energy. Love to see it. 
Now Sation's gonna knock out my blip bug. And yep, we don't draw into what we're looking for, as expected. So we're gonna have to get another blip bug down. We're benching way too many Pokemon here, but we're just researching to get Rod. We just gotta watch out for Mia setup, because boss, and okay, this is. I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at here, game. What is this hand? Rep Dreepy. Or Mandai's, I guess. Can we get anything good? We got Rosa. Okay, but we don't have triple energy to get the Orbeetle going. This is not ideal, guys. Oh boy. We'll see what they do. I maybe could have kept the Snorlax because we could get knocked out by Brave Blade, but then we go Rosa and then go from there anyway. It's not really a big deal if we get knocked out. Nope, they got the uh, they got the Elder Creation. Actually, are they going to go Zam? They are. Interesting. Do they have a boss? No, okay. Hmm. I guess the Zam will do it too, but because we have the Dreepy in play, it's not that bad actually. Okay, what do we top deck? Research, pretty good. Or beetle it's energy. We already have our candy in our hand, so let's get calm. Okay, this is fine. We're not actually in a bad spot. We can go like this, we can go quick ball with a scoop up net. We can grab... I'm probably... I'm going to get Dragapult. I'm not going to get another Orbeetle. I'm actually just going to go straight for Dragapult. We'll have three in play. Which I think we can rock with. So, this is fine. Good net the Blip Bug. They can't bench Mawile currently. Not a bad idea. Just... Yeah, get rid of the Blip Bug. How many Psychics do we have left? Still... Okay. So I don't know if I want to put Horror Energy on because it's Assault Tackle. We net the Blip Bug here. We don't have to, actually. Yeah, I think we'll just do Evil Mancy. We'll hold off on netting the blip bug. I don't think it really matters if we net or not, but wait a turn. Maybe, mm, I don't know. Yeah, we'll net it next turn. I don't think we're going to get Marnied, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, just an Assault Tackle. They take the 20 damage, right? I can't remember if they do. They do not. Awesome. All right. This is why the, look at how good the Xperia share is, guys. Look at how good it is, man. So busted. All right, what do we draw? Or energy. Nah. There's Rosa. We're going to be behind energy attachment. It's not good. We get a trainer of our choice. We already have research. So I think we'll just take... I don't even know what I want, to be honest. Eh, we can probably just take that last quick ball. Get the blip bug off the board. We could put Dottler down, I guess. There's no harm in it. I guess because we can always get the option to attack with Orbeetle again. Hit for 120. Yeah, this is fine. Probably could have taken the Rod, to be honest, off the uh, Rosa. All right, we'll hit him for a whopping 90 damage. And I don't know where to put the sturdy damage. I guess we just hit the Zacian with the energy on it, I guess. I don't know. I don't, honestly don't know where to put that. I, nah, we could have hit the Dene, but we're down a boss. I don't know. Now, they can go retreat to Zacian, and they could get heads on... Or they can get Tails, which is what we don't want to have happen. If they do not get my Dragapult, we are in trouble because we didn't get the... Oh, they're actually going to go for Alter Creation. And then we're going to Scuba Net our Dollar then, and that's what they're going to do. If they're, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. And we get the extra energy in play, which is honestly insanely good. And we'll just Scoop Up Net Dollar. We'll quick Ball. Get the other Blip Bug out of the deck so we don't get... Good old Mawile. Very balanced card. And now we just got to win the game before they knock out two Dragapults, which is... Sounds harder than it looks. Sounds harder than it looks. I'm gonna hold off on playing the calm. Um, we're really to put this damage. So we'll just hit the Dedene. We have boss in hand. If I hit the ADP for 30, it would have been left with one third HP. They still would have lived the turn. So yeah, we just gotta get super lucky with our coin flips. That's how we're gonna win this game. We just need to get lucky with our coin flips here. Cool scrapper, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Getting that extra energy in play was really good, especially for able to survive these attacks. Here we go. Regapult, you need to get heads. If we're going to win this game, you have to get heads here, buddy. You have to get heads. You have to get heads. Come on. Come on, Dragapult. You need to get heads if we're going to win this game. 
If we get like one or two turns of attacking. Oh, they're actually going to switch. Why would they not do ultimate ray? All right, here we go. Yes, let's go. Now we punish them too for not. Okay, beautiful. We have a lot of options. Uh, they have a three card hand. They can't bench anything currently. I'm not going to Marnie them. Going to Phantom Force. It's going to go boom. We're going to put three on the ADP. We're going to sub that ADP to be bossed, I think. Right? Yeah, they got 130. And I wish I hit more. If I put 10 more damage on it earlier, we could have one shot it with Phantom Force. Metal goggles are annoying because it makes it so we can't knock them out. But we, if we can continue with these head snans, we're chilling. They're going to boss another dad. That's fine. Doesn't make a difference. Let's go. Dragapult, you love to see it. Do they have any metal in the deck? They probably have two minimum, right? Got to be two. No, of course they have three. Why would they not? Of course. That should be their last energy, though. Here we go, Phantom Force. Whack him. Whack him, smack him. Oh, uh, the Zacian has 70 HP, so we have to hit it three more times. Uh, put one on Dedenne, one on the other Zacian. Put the rest on the Zacian. We just need to hit the Dedenne one more time. All right, we're in a pretty good spot right now. This is what we needed. We needed to get these heads. We can knock out the ADP next turn. Oh, they had a research? No way, bro. Oh, well, they have five cards left, actually. Okay, they apparently had way more energy than I thought. Oh, they still have their hammers. Does it make a difference? It might. Maybe I should have just held the energy then instead of just willy-nilly attached it. Because he's crushing hammer. They're going to move the energy. They don't need to get rid of my horror energy. It's kind of weird. Because if they attack me here with ADP and they get tails, they knock themselves out. Okay, sure. I don't know why they didn't get rid of the horror energy. That just doesn't make any sense. But I will take it. Because we got the knockout. Alright. One of our wing cons could be to trap the Dene though at this point. Ooh, we got more basics. Hmm. So my opponent, I don't know. That was a really weird turn. They hammered the energy up the active. And they knocked it out. Hmm. Yeah, my opponent, I don't know what they were doing there, to be honest. That was kind of weird. No cap. I'll just Marnie them. I'm not going to Bruno because I'd, I'd just get these bases out of my hand because they could drop them all while. It's not looking good, though, guys. Uh, well, actually, okay. I say this all the time. Assuming we survive the turn again, we are going to win the game. So we're just one turn off of winning here, it looks like. So we could just go... I'm tempted to play the escape rope, to be honest. doesn't matter if we do play it. But I am tempted to play it. I'm tempted to play the escape rope here. No, no, we do want to attack the active. Okay. Phantom Force. Oh, no, Metal Goggles. Okay, we can't damage that station anymore because metal goggles. Oh, okay, maybe we aren't going to win the game. Never, we're not one turn off. The metal goggles completely forgot about it. Uh oh. I think we're going to lose this. We still have a lot of stuff we have to do. They had a stamp. Okay. Ooh, we got Mew. That's not good. Do they have uh, Mawile here? I think we're going to lose this. We, we still have to attack a couple more times if we're going to win this game. And my opponent can get very lucky. They have two. They have like a couple turns to try to get heads. Here we go. Dragapult. You need to get lucky. Let's go. Okay. We still have a chance. Still have a chance. Kind of. Um, do we Marnie them? I actually think we do have to Marnie. We have to find this last boss's order, right? Yeah. We have to Marnie them. It doesn't matter what I give them anymore. I feel like it doesn't matter, right? We got the boss. We didn't get any basics either, so we can't lose to him all while. Okay, well, here we go. You know what? Just for good luck, we're going to go to the Dragapult with a triple energy on it. Just for good luck. Just because good luck, you know? Why not? Why not? The Metal Goggles were kind of annoying. We would have won. We literally would have won the game if that Metal Goggle was non. ADP Metal Goggles, new meta confirmed. There's an energy. So we are going to most likely win the game unless I have a second stand. We are most likely to win if they do not get tails here. Come on, Dragapult. We need you to pull through for the gang so we can take down the monstrosity known as ADP Zacian. No! We lost. No! Altered creation taking extra prizes. Too unfair. <laughs> we were one turn away from winning the game there. We did get pretty lucky throughout this match, though, I'm not going to lie. My opponent also played kind of weirdly, knocking out the Dragapult there and not getting rid of the horn energy on their crushing hammer. Didn't make any sense to me, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to wrap today's piece of you guys on the Orbital deck. We pretty much showed off the idea of this combo. And this is just the start, guys. 
of the Orbital content. If you guys have any other Orbital deck recommendations, definitely comment them down below because I would love to hear your recommendations for Orbital decks. Because there's a lot out there. There's a ton of ways to play Orbital in both Standard and Expanded. So if you guys have any other Orbital deck ideas, comment them down below and I will probably do a video. I have a few that I've brainstormed also, but I found this Dragable one just to be like, just for, for a starter, seemed the coolest, of course, being able to be a psychic deck right now and also just being annoying with infiltrator it's a lot of fun to play plus i wanted to play these shiny dragon poles because i just collected them with shiny fate uh, so after playing this deck uh, a few things i want to maybe add would be cut the escape rope i didn't really feel like it was needed i would probably i might even cut dotler i might cut dotler and escape rope for like a fifth psychic energy and maybe an extra exp share um EXP share was really good in this deck um, because just again being able to get that extra energy on your Dragapult is like really strong So I would probably add an extra EXP share and I probably would add a fifth psychic energy to the deck um, Yeah, but at the same time, it's like if you do find a triple energy for Orbital You can you can go bench the Dreepy go triple energy for triple Dragapult And then at some point that Dreepy can turn into that other Dragapult So I don't know if you really need fire or you need a fifth energy But I do think an extra EXP share could definitely go in here But let me know what you thought of the deck down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys uh, check out all the socials down below. We are very close to 15k subs. I don't know if we're there just yet while the times is uploaded. If we are, big thank you for that. I'll do my, uh, whenever I check my channel and I see that I'm at it, I will do the big thank you thing. But uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm not there just yet. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Check out the socials down below. My Patreon, my Twitch, my Twitter, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later. Peace out.